Hello world, it's Craig. This is a short video to let you know that the next version of this MCS 85 plus minimum system is available. For those that are already familiar with this board, you can skip right ahead to the changes in this revision that will start at the time here on the screen. For everybody else, this is uh, either going to be a reminder or an introduction to this platform. And this is a platform that Intel was pushing when the 8085 was first introduced. It was an effort to demonstrate how easy it was to build a system around the 8085, particularly when using other members of the MCS 85 family. Now the 8085 was, you know, in many ways it was equivalent to the 8080, but it had some of the support chips that the 8080 required that all brought inside the 8085 to make it much easier to implement. You know, after all, the 8080 and the 8085 had about the same number of transistors. But the 8085 not only offered simpler integration, but it had a built-in set of serial pins. And so it's not a UART by any stretch of the imagination, but it's at least a way to bit bang out serial communications without more overhead or without additional support chips. And another major advancement was that this was all accomplished with a single five volt rail. And that was one of the biggest things. You can get rid of the 12 volts, minus five volts, anything other than just a straight plus five volts. Now on this board we have the uh, 8085, we have an 8755 that provides 2K of ROM and it provides 16 I.O. pins. Then there's the 8156 that provides 256 bytes of RAM and it has an internal timer counter and it provides 22 pins of I.O. And then here on the end is an 8185 that provides another 1K of RAM. Now at the time, if you were an engineer that had been working with the 8008 or the 8080, the simplicity of this MCS 85 system, it was nothing short of remarkable. And Intel published this design and you know even uh, PC board layouts of this that you could just print and make a single board computer with just these four chips. So these four chips, we can make a single board computer that has no glue logic. It provides 2K of ROM. It has one and a quarter K of RAM, a serial port, a counter timer, four vector interrupts, and 38 pins of I.O. In many ways, this is a reduced feature version of, you know, the SDK 85. And because they are so similar, as long as the code and I.O. would fit, so if you were only using the base 8155 and 8755, then you could use the SDK85 as a development platform for hardware and code development and then port it over to this little MCS85 minimum system. Now before I forget, both of these versions have room for a surface mount inverter underneath the 8156. So if you don't happen to have an 8156, if you've only got the 8155, you can use the 8155 and then mount a little inverter underneath. Let me get a bare board here you can see there's a a little set of jumpers here and then there's a little place here that you can put a surface mount uh, inverter if you want to use the 8155. Now the difference between the two, the 8155 and the 8156 is just the assertion level of the chip enabled so that inverter can be used to compensate. Uh, you know 8156s like this one they're reasonably available but they are usually you know a few dollars more than the 8155 which is a much more common chip. Now in this, I'm running the little resident monitor, which again is a simplified version of the resident monitor that I have ported over to this SDK85. And I did a video, or the, I guess the introduction for this board, it was in video 101. And in that video, I, I talked more about the actual monitor that I have running in this. But it provides the functionality to download Intel hex files, you can set breakpoints, you can examine memory and registers and so forth, all using a, uh, a terminal. So this version, this is version 1.1, it was made week 32 of 2023, so these just arrived I think last week. The difference between this and the previous versions, they're all fairly small, but they're little changes that make the board just that much nicer and more convenient to use. The first is that the TTL serial interface has been changed to a six pin header. Previously we just had a three pin header here that was for the just the uh, send, receive, and uh, ground. But we've changed this to a six pin header to match these little five volt USB to TTL serial smart cables. 
So this header also includes a connection to the 5 volt rail which allows the board to run off of the 5 volts provided by that USB serial adapter. What I'm using here is a little DTEX Mark cable and when you order this cable make sure you get the one that has the single connector with all six in the same connector rather than the six individual connectors because this is pinned out is made to match this connector. It's just easier if they're all in this one connector. Note there is a little jumper here uh, connecting the USB power to the onboard power and if you still want to use the barrel connector then you want to remove that jumper because you don't want to be providing power from both the USB and the barrel connector. So if you're taking a lot of power off of this system with all the I.O. or something too much that the USB can provide then you'll want to take that jumper off so that uh, you can provide power with the barrel connector. So the next thing we added was I put a little power switch onto this uh, just com more convenient than unplugging this USB connector so there's a power switch and there's also a LED and a, a corresponding test pin that uh, shows us this is the power inlet LED and then this is the switched power LED up here. The next change was in order to use the single step uh, routine that's in the uh, Intel's original SDK monitor we needed to use the trap uh, or we needed to use the 8156 timer out and connect that to the trap and you could have wire wrapped that on the previous board but I made it so that that is basically just a jumper setting so if you want to use the uh, single step or you want the the timer on this to come in as the trap to the 81 or to the 8085 then uh, that's done by these jumpers let's see uh, but in the current version of the monitor I've taken the single step out in favor of the breakpoint and and download the Intech uh, the ability to download Intel hex files so the remaining changes were just housekeeping, moving some components to make it more convenient or aesthetically pleasing. And I had it on my change list, but somehow I forgot to add mounting holes on this version. Uh, I made a little base for it that it just clips into, and I'll put the build files for this base on this, the site with, with everything else. It's just a little base that I printed out. The user's manual, schematic, bill of materials, the code, sor the source code, all the build files, everything that uh, you need for this project is on the, the project website and you can buy boards from my Tindy store but I'm just as happy if people submit the build files directly to the fab shop and then share the boards locally with others that are interested in it and those links will be in the description as well as a uh, link to my email address as always this channel is entirely fueled by likes subscribers and interesting comments and that's it for this video thanks for watching talk to you later bye bye